Well, we all know that dogs can do amazing things. Sit. Don't get up. But their most incredible trick may be their ability to help people heal. KPI X5's Katie Nielsen is live tonight with how these canine companions in the Bay Area are helping soldiers go from the battlefield back to everyday life. Katie? Yeah, Ken, Liz, PTSD can be crippling for veterans. Coming home from war can also be very difficult to treat. That's why some of these soldiers are now looking to man's best friend for help. Family. It's something that's motivated Francisco his entire life. My dad was in the Air Force. My brother was in the Air Force as well, so... I joined the Air Force. He graduated from officer training school and went to work at David Grant Hospital on Travis Air Force Base in Fairfield. Always training to do something different, always progressing, always going where I needed to go, where the military needed me. In January of 2010, the Air Force needed Francisco in Afghanistan, even though his wife was pregnant with their first child. He deployed to a frontline hospital where he worked in the intensive care unit. I was touted as one of the um, best nurses uh, there. But working in a war zone took a toll on Francisco. What you see in Afghanistan, I don't think anyone could ever prepare you for what you see or do. After almost a year, he came home from war. He met his son for the first time. He should have been happy, but instead he was struggling. It was amazing to see things alive and green. I was happy to see life. Francisco tried to go back to his nursing job on Travis Air Force Base, but was constantly distracted by flashbacks from his deployment. I could be a potential danger to these patients because I'm not as not thinking as clearly. That's when Francisco was diagnosed with PTSD. And at that moment, it was it was kind of um, black and white. He started getting treatment, and that's when he found out about Canine Companions for Independence in Santa Rosa. Welcome, everyone. For more than 40 um, years, the nonprofit has been providing service dogs to people with disabilities. We've always provided a lot of service dogs to veterans, but those have been more for physical disabilities. Now, the center is focusing on a different type of disability, PTSD. It's one of only a handful of organizations across the country selected by the Department of Veterans Affairs to be part of a study looking at the effectiveness of specially trained service dogs to treat the disorder. What our service dogs for PTSD do is an additional set of commands that are really customized for veterans or for the, the situation with PTSD. Francisco applied for the program and recently got his first service dog. One, two, three. Tawny, as he calls her, is specifically trained to help Francisco deal with his symptoms. Tawny front. Like creating extra space yes, around him when he's out in public or waking him up when he's experiencing a night terror. But the dog will allow me to live in the moment so that I can enjoy uh, the experiences at that moment, such as my um, son blowing out his candles or watching the fireworks. Moments that weren't even possible before due to the anxiety caused by PTSD. But thanks to some help from Tawny, Francisco's life has completely changed. I can go to Disneyland, go on vacation, go on airplanes, go to wherever you go. So we just showed you how Tawny is helping Francisco. With us now is Kim. Kim's one of the trainers here at Canine Companions for Independence. And you have future PTSD service dog, Lynn, who's with us. And one of the other commands that the PTSD service dogs can do is interrupt anxiety. Can you kind of explain what that is and how it could be helpful? Sure, so a veteran with PTSD who might be experiencing some anxiety, they might do behaviors like leg tap or something like that. So I can demonstrate that. So if I were to start tapping my leg and Lynn might be able to interrupt that. Yes, good girl, nice job. So that's what that would look like. And the, the goal of that behavior is to have a grounding presence um, and kind of brings the handler back to a calm sense of reality. It's absolutely amazing. Kim, thank you so much. And as you just saw how these dogs can help these veterans, we talked with Francisco. He said he just got back from Disney World with his family. And for the first time, he was able to enjoy the fireworks without any anxiety. Wow. wow. Yeah. And uh, we go back to a simple solution, an animal and uh, a friend, you know, to, to fix a very complex problem. Thank you, Katie. Appreciate it. Dogs are it. amazing.